Nasty, but inevitable. Everyone is going to die, even if we like to pretend otherwise. You could die tonight, in your sleep. Why doesn't that terrify you? How would you like to die? No, wait, let me guess. You'd want to die surrounded by family. It's academic, really, as we're only truly conscious of death when it happens to others. Get to my age, you'll have seen plenty of people die. There, one minute, then gone. Okay, game time. There are seven pictures of people on the table. Your job is to tell me who is dead and who is merely sleeping. Divide them up. Left, dead. Right, sleeping. Done? It's just an exercise. There's no right answer. Actually, they were all dead. Okay, let's get back to it. Dahlia. A girl. The car went into the river. She drowned. Another crash? This is a different girl? You must have seen the bridge. We went right off the side. Harry, the bridge has been closed since the storm started. You swam. You could have died of hypothermia. My clothes? You were soaked to the skin. I grabbed what I could find here. We need to talk. When I was at the station, I pulled the file on Harry Mason. So... No! No!
Yeah, they say she'll be okay. She's in good spirits. She liked the chocolates and the bear. Though she says she'd rather see you. Yeah, I know, I know. Tell Mom about the song. Right, the song. Yeah, I got the radio to play her song. She loved that. And now she's going to go to sleep. Visiting's almost up and she needs a rest. You'll be in tomorrow? Okay. Alcamilla Radio. Your request has been selected for broadcast. Get well soon. going to be fine. I want to go visit, but he's doing a good enough job. Spoiling her, <laughs> as you'd expect. Don't want to cast a cloud over it. No use getting her hopes up, you know? I'm just so glad she's okay. 